Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share at the end of the video if you think the tutorial is helpful. In today's video, I will show you how to uh, convert the VDI, which is a virtual box image, to the QEMU image or QCAL version 2. So a couple of requirements, um, you will need the uh, homebrew installed on your system. If you don't uh, ha already have a uh, homebrew installed on your system, you can follow this uh, tutorial and all the link for the tutorial are going to be included in the descriptions. And after you install homebrew, you will need the QEMU. You can easily install QEMU using the brew install QEMU command. And after that, uh, in order to convert VDI to uh, QCAL version 2, uh, you have to convert it to raw file first. And we will need the VBox manage utility in order to do that. Uh, VBox manage, it came with the virtual box. So in order to get the VBox manage utility, we will need to install virtual box. Fortunately for Apple A ARM, they do have uh, a versions for Apple uh, ARM and this is for current and uh, de developer only uh, it's in a beta mode however the only thing we really need is the uh, uh, vbox manage to convert the VDI to raw so after you install the virtual box then we have everything we needed to convert the VDI to uh, QCAL version 2 and with that let's get started with the, the demonstration all right, in this example, I will show you how to convert the Kali Linux AMD 64.vdi. So this is a virtual box image that I download directly from Kali Linux. Uh, we're going to convert it to the... First, we're going to convert it to the raw format. And then from raw format, we can convert it to a QCAL 2. All right, so let's get started. First, we're going to change the directory to uh, that folder. So it's located in the download, Kali 2023. All right. And we're going to use the VBox manage command. And it's going to be a long HD to convert it to the raw format. So Kali VDI. And the next one is going to be um, dot image. And then it's going to be a dash dash. We're going to set the format to raw and enter. So this might take a while. It depends on your computer hardware as well as how big the uh, file is. And now we have the it converted to uh, the raw format. Next, we can use the QEMU uh, image converter to convert it to the uh, QCAL2. So the command going to be a QEMU dash IMG convert. So the format is going to be raw and then the output format dash o gonna be um, qcal2 and then the image name is calilinux.img and then the output image gonna be calilinux dot uh, qcal2 and enter all right and as you see, we successfully converted the raw image to the QCAL2. So that's how you would convert a uh, .VDI to the .QCAL2. And that concluded the today tutorial. If you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.